The next unit we are moving into, we're going to talk about angles. And in order to get an understanding of angles, we have to understand the vocabulary terms that we are going to be discussing and learning about. So let's get started. You have your uh, definition page, so why don't you take that out, make sure you have plenty of different colored pens and pencils so you can draw the examples. Uh, you, I recommend using color on your examples as it'll help you learn them better. So here are the first three words. The first word is angle, the second one is complementary, the third one is vertical. So the basic definition of an angle are two rays with a common vertex or end point. So the picture, we have to have an end point and then we have two rays that connect at that end point and you create an angle. Angles are measured in degrees. Complementary angles are two angles whose sum is 90 degrees. So you have an equation, and the equation for complementary angles is always angle A plus angle B equals 90 degrees. And that little less than sign uh, stands for angle now. For a picture for this, we have a pair of perpendicular lines, and we know they're perpendicular because they have a 90 degree box. Now we're going to take that other side, or the right side, and split it into two angles, angle A and angle B, and when you add them together you would get 90 degrees. So they would be known as complementary angles. The next pair of angles are called vertical angles. The definition for vertical angles are two angles on opposite sides of two intersecting lines. That's a lot of words, but let's get to it. Vertical angles are congruent, meaning same shape and size. So let's draw a picture based on the definition. Two angles on opposite sides of two intersecting lines. So we need two intersecting lines, and then we need two opposite angles. So in this image, we have angle A and angle D, and they're opposite, and they are congruent. So angle A is equal to or congruent to angle D. And then we also have angle B and C, and they're opposite, and they are congruent or equal as well. So you would write angle B is congruent to angle C. For our next definition, I'm going to leave angle up there, but we're going to move on to adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that are next to each other. Uh, there is nothing more specific than that. So you have create a couple of angles that are next to each other and we'll name them angle X and angle Y and uh, there's no specific nothing more than that just adjacent angles supplementary angles are two angles whose sum is 180 degrees supplementary angles do not have to be adjacent they don't have to be next to each other uh, but they have to add up to 180 degrees so your equation for that would be x plus y equals 180. And that's how you can solve for one of the angles uh, if you are given the other. Okay, I'm going to give you an image here. It is a straight line with a ray coming up, intersecting with a straight line. And then you have angle x on the left, which is an obtuse angle, and angle y on the right, which is an acute angle. And when you add them together, you would get 180. The last definition that we're going to talk about today is linear pair and linear pair are two angles that are both adjacent and supplementary so linear pairs have to be adjacent meaning next to each other and supplementary meaning they add up to 180 degrees so when they're supplementary the vocab or the uh, equation that we're going to use is x plus y equals 180 just like we did with supplementary and then the image that I'm going to use is actually the same image as above uh, where it's a straight line, a uh, horizontal line, and then a ray coming out at an angle, um, and a straight horizontal line that is uh, creating two angles is 180 degrees. So that would be a linear pair. Okay, make sure you have these definitions down. Uh, read them over, try and come up with a way to understand and, and know what they are if you don't already. Uh, and a and, uh, Coming to class tomorrow. Okay? Take care.